The Employment Hero Payroll's roster system is built for efficiency. With over 1,000 successful implementations, we've mastered every feature of this powerful tool. In this video, we'll guide you through creating draft shifts, managing multiple locations, and using the drag and drop interface. You'll also discover how to set up SMS notifications, handle shift swaps, and use cost breakdown feature to stay within budget. So I have my roster open here. Um, and I have a few shifts that have been created. So these are draft shifts, and I know that because of the little orange icon beside them. I can drag and drop these shifts to different employees, um, or I can move them as unassigned shifts, and then I can go ahead and click on them to assign them to a specific employee. You will note as well that leave um, and unavailability times um, can be brought into the roster as well, because in Paycat, you're managing everything all in the one system. It all talks to each other. So it's nice to be able to see that in there. So I have here some leave that's been approved and a time that this employee has submitted as being unavailable. Um, now, if you wanna go ahead and create new shifts, all you have to do is click on the date that you wanna create the shift for underneath whatever the relevant location is. So you can see each one of these gray banners is a location. If I wanted to create a rostered shift under finance, I would just click on the day that I wanted to do that for. I would change the start and end time accordingly. Um, I would select what employee I wanted to assign it to, and then I can just click on save in order to create the shift. Again, that's gonna be created as a draft shift initially, and that can be gone into and adjusted or dragged and dropped to another employee or another location. Something that you'll notice about the shifts is you can see there's a, a little cost breakdown underneath one of these shifts. So this is one of the great features of the roster in um, Paycat. Um, you can click on each one of the shifts and it's actually gonna give you a cost breakdown. So you'll be able to see shift projections and cost breakdowns um, prior to actually sending out the shifts and you'll be able to um, move around the shifts according to that. Um, to hopefully save yourself some penalty rates or a lot of overtime being paid. Yeah, now there, there are a lot more uh, features in relation to the shift costings, um, things like budgets, things like uh, warnings that you can set up for things like overtime or broken shifts, um, which I delve deeper into in the webinar. So I would definitely recommend checking that out. Um, there are also things like roster templates. Um, if you had some kind of a continuous roster, even if it was for one specific employee or one specific location, we can create templates so that you can just reassign them. Um, you can also copy shifts from week to week or fortnight to fortnight. Um, yeah, so there are a lot of great features in the roster. Um, if there was a case where you wanted to create timesheets based off of the rostered shifts, that can be done as well. So you can just import all of those rostered shifts straight into the timesheets rather than your employees clocking in and clocking out or manually doing the timesheets themselves. Now, once you're happy with your roster, you've built it all out and you're ready to submit it through to all of your employees, you can just click on this publish button up here and that's gonna publish all of my shifts that are on screen right now. And once they're published, the icon should turn blue and all of your employees should have gotten an email or a text message. Um, depends which way you have it set up. You can set up for email notifications or SMS notifications, and they would have received um, their roster for the week in that one email or that one text message. Yeah, and that's just a quick overview of the roster. Again, there's a lot of functionality behind it, so if you're interested in learning more, I would definitely recommend checking out that webinar.